Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a completely new reaction video. I'm going to react to Genshin Impact version 2.1 new PV that came out. It is called Floating World Under the Moonlight trailer and I'm going to react to both the English dub and the Japanese dub as well. So yeah like I'll first react to the English dub and then I'll react to the Japanese dub. So that's how I'm going to go because obviously I'm uh, I think the Japanese stuff don't have any subtitles. So first I'll watch the English English version to actually understand what they're saying. You know, kind of get a uh, you know understanding, and then I'm going to uh, check out the Japanese stuff because I love the Japanese voice actors, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. So yeah, like first let's let me check it out. First let me react to it. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about my impressions, what I thought, and. And all the other things so yeah let's get started so um first of all uh the english dub of floating under the moonlight trailer here we go repeat after me three, whoa two, what the one one see yai sakura three <sighs> whoa that was abrupt you know the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya. But after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. Oh. Oh yeah, they said something Recently about this. I remember. Showing symptoms of accelerated aging. Accelerated if aging. That's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Whoa, is that a... Hydra hypostasis? Whoa, this is some new bosses. As they please. So uncivilized. Senor is the one behind all this? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> La Senora. Oh, she's going to be a boss. Isn't she? One of those weekly bosses? Yeah, oh my god. This, this is an amazing character um, design. And I will do everything within my power okay, to she's coming family's honor. Strike. As a character. Storm the front. You Kujo scum. Colluding with the Fatui is a low enough for you already. Whoa. You just want to take everything away from us. To survive hardship, you must prepare for hardship. And Kokomi as well. Oh, she's like a mermaid, you know? Yeah, her movements and everything. Wow. And obviously, yeah, Zakura and. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? And obviously, Bal. Right and Shogun. Shine down. Whoa. Oh. Is, is is this her move set? Okay. Surely you don't think your ambition alone. Is Wait, wh where did she pop up from? Do you? That's it. Just like that. Eternity stretches things out over a long time, but each moment within it Sacramash is well. fragile. <laughs> but is he going to be a character? I mean, obviously he's going to be a playable character in the future. I'm guessing. Floating world under the moonlight. Oh, there's something more. Okay. You know, this is starting to feel like chili pepper weather. Did you happen to see how the city looked on the way over here? Everyone's getting ready for the moon chase festival. Moon chase festival. Oh. Masterful chefs. If possible, I like is this another event? I think there so. There is one dish that perhaps you could try making for me. Oh, is this going to be a cooking event? This year. I'm interested to see their choice of dishes. I think so. Without further ado, we'll get some new recipes. Hopefully. Begin. Okay, moonlight merriment. Okay, just a sec. Let me just pause here. Um, moonlight merriment. Uh, during the moon chase uh, festival, the adventurers guild will place moon chase charms, and my oh, it's so small. And mist moon chests across the land. Collect those precious items and obtain the rewards prepared by the guild. 
uh, charge of the event is very familiar uh, okay these things so yeah this is another event that is going to happen and uh, moonlight seeker during the moon chest festival moon chest charms and chests across the land collect this precious uh... oh this i read already trail of delicacies uh, legend uh... enjoy now adventure skill has combined this far okay <clears throat> so these are the events coming soon yeah free for all fighting tournament oh this thing uh, we kind of had this one before where we used to choose the characters and yeah that's kind of fun you know to actually use the characters who, which you don't have uh, so if it is something like that it will be very interesting because a lot of characters obviously we don't have and we can play with them oh fishing oh yeah i, I heard that this is going to come Okay. And the new weapons, Polam Engulf Lightning. Obviously, this is for, we know, this is for Bal. And I'm, I'm guessing this is for Kokomi. Uh, Catalyst Everlasting Moon Glow. And these are, I'm guessing, the. What the hell is this? <laughs> Wait, what? Luxurious Sea Lord. Claymore. <laughs> That's a fish! <laughs> I guess. Okay, the Polarm. And I'm guessing these will be craftable. Think so? I think so and uh, okay let's see what else oh that's it okay uh, first let me check out the japanese version because i'm looking forward to the japanese dub uh, i usually uh, play in japanese dub because you know i kind of like uh, i really love a few of the voice actors obviously kana Ueda for yoimiya uh, i love um lisa's voice actress uh, who also does uh, Himeko, you know, in Honkai Impact, and a few other characters as well. Uh, Ao Yuki is there as, as a Lumine's voice actress, where, but I'm guessing uh, Lumine usually does not get that much much of lines, so it's kind of a shame. And uh, also a few others as well I really love, you know. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. And obviously, like, uh, Yai Sakura has the same voice actor of Yai Sakura in Honkai Impact. Uh, Raiden Shogun has the same voice actress as um, right in May from Honkai Impact, so I'm a huge fan of the Japanese dub. So let's just check it out. All right, here's the Japanese dub. Let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god! The voice acting. Oh. <laughs> What the? What the fuck? What the fuck? And I also checked out the English version, so I know what they're saying. Oh. Yep, there she is. Oh boy. Wow, this boss battle looks... Uh, very interesting. I'm guessing uh, Sara will be in Raiden May's banner. I think so. Which is an electro archer, and I don't know. Oh boy, Yai Sakura. I don't know if I'll be able to save enough to get Yai Sakura as well. I'm getting Baal definitely. I'm definitely getting Baal, but I'm not sure about Yai Sakura if I'll be able to save enough to get her. 
It'll be really amazing if I actually am able to save. Wow, her movesets. God. もし穴に、己の願いだけで永遠は時間を非常に長く伸ばすことができる。だからその間にある一つ一つの節目はとてつもなく脆弱なものになるのだ。ボイ。オッケー。That <笑><笑><笑> okay. the end. No, oh, there's a still this thing. <laughs> Paimon has all this talking about food. <laughs> so we're going back to Liyue, aren't we? For this event. Because we can see uh, Ningguang and um, Ke uh, Ketching. Yeah, Liyue, there you go. So we'll have to go back to uh, go to Liyue for this event. I think so. Alright, uh, we already saw these things. So yeah. Alright, that was it. Wow, amazing. Now uh, I'm I'm definitely getting uh, Raiden Shogun. Um I know I'm I'm going to get her and by the time she comes, uh I'll I'll have enough for getting her actually. And uh Hopefully she comes quickly and now there's one thing that I'm kind of not sure whether I'll be able to save enough or not is Yai Zakura. Now as far as I know uh, first Raiden Shogun is going to come in the first banner for the first 20 days then we're going to have Kokomi and uh, I'm guessing uh, Raiden will have uh, Kujo Sara with her in her banner and Kokomi will probably have will have Thoma or, or I'm not sure like either like you know um either of, of the of the remaining characters uh kokomi is going to have in her banner and uh, i think after kokomi's banner i'm not sure after kokomi's banner we're probably going to have either yai zakura or or is there any other characters left i don't uh, no i don't think so these are the characters, aren't they? Oh, I I don't know if you're, if you're going to get introduced to some new characters or something in the upcoming, uh, you know, um, what do you call them? In the upcoming uh, events, or and then I, I think I've heard that there's going to be some reruns or something. I'm not sure. So it'll probably go like that. So if that is how it goes, I probably won't be able to save enough for Yai Zakura, and um, who knows when she'll get her rerun again. So I'm kind of tempted to actually like if I actually I'm unable to get Yai Zakura I'm kind of tempted to go for the reruns because I kind of want Ganyu you know uh, and uh, I also thought about getting Hu Tao but I uh, got Diluc recently I already have a decent fire damage dealer you know and uh, uh, it'll be great if I can actually get um, uh, Ganyu because I think she she's one of the best uh, ice D, ice uh, you know ice uh, characters, so ice DPS characters. So I don't know, like you know, I'm kind of tempted, but then Yai Zakura is also really like you know I'm I'm thinking should I save for Yai Zakura's rerun or something? But that'll come in a long time later on, or maybe for some other characters. I don't know. So I'll think about it. But the Raiden Shogun, I'm definitely getting her. You know, because she, she's 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 a must. <laughs> she's a must and. I don't know if I'll, I'm able to save enough for Yai Zakura. Like my main motivations for getting uh, uh, Raiden and uh, Yai Zakura is because of um, obviously Honkai Impact. Like I play Honkai Impact, and uh, that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm getting them. And and they're they're fantastic characters as well. So <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens. So these uh, trailers uh, they look amazing, and I'm guessing we're going to get the next part of the story and it'll probably like i'm not sure if we're going to get uh, some new islands because i know like some new islands are going to be unlocked as it as, as time goes on and on i i think there are um, supposed to be a lot more islands that are going to come up like they did not release everything at the same time they're planning on releasing you know, step by step and i think that's one of the best decision 
decisions because if they re released everything at the same time oh my god like i <laughs> it took me a long while to actually complete inazuma and i'm still not completed exploring uh, the, the full inazuma a little bit of is left so it's good that they're like you know taking time and kind of uh releasing it bit by bit and it gives us time to actually do other stuff you know <laughs> otherwise we'll have to like keep playing genshin impact all the time to actually complete it so yeah it's good that you know they're kind of taking the time making it good and then releasing it and uh, yeah and uh okay so the new characters obviously raiden shogun kujo sara and kokomi kokomi uh kokomi i think she's quite interesting as a you know hydro i'm guessing she's a hydro damage dealer uh, i'm not sure if she is a support character or dps character so like uh her what can i say her animations and everything looks quite interesting like she kind of moves like a mermaid <laughs> and kujo sara we can see obviously like she is like an uh, electro uh, archer and it's, it's quite you know similar to the other archers we see and raiden shogun is a very interesting and i think her moveset will be a lot similar to raiden may from honkai impact you know uh, like hersher of thunder her moveset like she also has like katana and you know kind of like uh, uses electro attacks so I'm guessing Raiden Shogun's attack pattern will kind of be similar to that. You know, she'll be using her. Uh, oh, she she's not using her katana, but she's using I think a naginata. Is does isn't it? Yeah, the polearm. So she's a polearm character. She also has a, a sword, and I'm guessing she's going to use the sword in the uh, ultimate or something. I'm not sure. We kind of saw her, you know, kind of taking it out. So yeah. Who knows i'm sure we'll get more uh, character teasers as as the banners come uh, you know come and hopefully in five or six days we're going to get some character teasers to see so yeah looking forward to that and the new event that's going to come is i'm guessing what was it called the moon uh the moon something i forgot that event the uh, event that we saw so we're going to go back to have to go back to liue for that and it'll be like i'm guessing a like a, a event focusing uh, around um, what do you call it cooking or something like that yes and probably going to get some recipes and i would love some new recipes because um yeah i would love some like you know high level recipes like five star or four star recipes so <laughs> hopefully we get something like that oh and fishing i forgot about that i'm guessing fishing will be more like a collection thing because obviously we we can catch fishes in the game but like we basically go in the water and catch them but i'm guessing this will be more like some kind of collection thing like you know like how big of a fish you can uh, catch or something like that you get probably get achievements and stuff and like certain milestones you'll get probably primo gems for them so something like that i'm guessing it will be so like that's good so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to uh the recent character uh not character sorry the recent uh trailer of 2.1 genshin impact so yeah that was that was great uh we kind of got a little bit of sneak peeks and we still don't have much information about what's going to happen i'm going to i think especially about the characters i'm going to uh, i'm thinking that we'll probably get more when the character teasers come out you know for Sara uh, for um, Raiden Shogun and obviously Kokomi and the other characters. So we're probably going to get uh, to see more of them at that time. So yeah, I think 10 more days are left for uh, Yoimiya's banner to uh, end. So after that, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get Raiden Shogun's banner. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, excuse me, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, be sure to comment down below your opinions and how if you're looking forward to this 2.1 as well. I'm sure everyone is looking forward to it because <laughs> Bali is coming and yeah, I'm sure everyone's excited. So yeah, so yeah guys, thank you guys for watching and uh, oh, uh, and oh, I, I said comment down below, didn't I? Yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys ne uh, in the next Genshin Impact video. I, I put out other videos as well. I also do Honkai Impact videos. Uh, sometimes I do other gaming videos as well, FGO and other stuff and the normal anime reactions that I do. So yeah, so yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.